Well, hello there, and welcome. Tonight, I'm going to make some banana bread. Why? Well, the bananas were starting to get a little ripe. A little bit more than just a little ripe. So, what we want to do is use them now before they go bad. First off, we need to start off preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then, to start this, we are going to put in two cups of flour. So to this we're using one teaspoon of baking soda, not baking powder, but baking soda. We will be using one quarter teaspoon of salt. And we're going to be adding three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. And I did pack it, at least loosely packed. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to start off mixing this. Just to kind of get the powder ingredients a little bit incorporated to each other. So you don't end up with a big clump of, of something and a little clump, uh, and little to no, nothing else elsewhere. Even though we're going to stir this really good after we add the rest of the ingredients. Now you can do this with an electric mixer, but I'm going to go ahead and just do this with by hand. <clears throat> I'm also going to make a substitution on this recipe. It calls for a half a cup of butter. Well, I don't have a whole lot of butter in the house, so I'm going to just use a half a cup of vegetable oil. It will work. Also, for those that are vegan, it allows you to, 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 to still enjoy these. In there. And I am putting in two eggs that are already beaten. And we're going to give this a good stir as it is. To start off with, you see, <clears throat> excuse me there. As you can see, not quite enough moisture. But to that, we are now adding two and a third cups of mashed banana. Which was roughly two large bananas and three smaller medium ones, which did actually yield a little bit more than I needed. But you know what? The puppies did not mind. I am now going to put the spatula aside for the moment so that when I go and put this into the baking pan, oops, better make sure that I emptied out my oven, which I did forget to do. Excuse me, little one, I need you out of the way for a second. So, get back. Finish mixing this real quick, and I think I forgot to dig out my loaf pan before I got started on this. So it'll take me a minute to do it. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. And if you're going to use a whisk like this, just make sure you get it scraped all the way down to the bottom like such. Now, just pick butter wrapper, just like such, and grease the inside of our loaf pan. You know? Normally, you see me use glass when I'm making breads and such, but when I do quick breads, like banana bread, zucchini bread, and things like that, I do prefer to use a metal tin or a metal baking pan. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pour about 
f height in because it will actually rise some of the base. Second one may not be enough, in which case I probably could get this all into one pan. Yes, this is the first time I've made this particular recipe. Just because how much banana I have. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it all into my other pan. I don't think it'll be so much that it overfills it. There. It'll rise some. It might actually even take a metal baking pan. And put it on the racks right underneath the main rack. So now we've got this all assembled. Just put it right down in here in your oven, right in the middle. And we're going to come back in about an hour. Should take roughly 60 minutes to bake. If it takes a couple minutes longer, good. If it doesn't, good. We'll be back. Well, it has been a couple, it's been about 45 minutes. And let's go ahead and take a look at it. And my oven tends to run a little hot anyways. And part of it looks like it might be done, and then part of it might not. Be. So let's take a look. I don't know if you can see that or not. I would say probably about another 10 minutes. Honestly, because it's still a little damp on the toothpick, but it is mostly done. So, back in, and we'll come back in about another 10 minutes. Okay, well, it's been about 10 minutes since we last checked. So, let's go ahead and pull it out, and I'm guessing... It's most likely going to be done anyways. Very much looks it at the moment. But let's give it the toothpick test. Obviously, I know going in on it there, it's going to for sure be clean. Let's go in where it's softest. And yes, I know I'm over testing it. I just want you guys all to see, no matter where I go in, it appears to be baked through and not burnt. So there you have it. Now, you want to let it sit in this pan for about a half hour before we tip it out onto an actual cooling rack. So, we'll come back in a few minutes for that. Also, while waiting for the big reveal, don't forget, down below, please hit the subscribe button if you have not already, so you can join the tribe. And as well as, hit the like button, please. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit the like button again. Always. And if you're already subscribed, or if you're a new subscriber, please, hopefully you've hit the button down below. Don't forget that notification bell so that you can get notified when I upload other videos. Because there's a couple other uh, quick recipes that I'm going to be doing. 
I might be doing, well, I know for a fact I'm going to be doing cookies here soon. One of my favorite cookies. As well as, there's always zucchini bread. And there's more banana bread recipes. And if you want to watch when I upload those, you should hit that notification bell. So, we'll come back in a few minutes so that we can see it come out of the pan. Well, it has now been about a half hour since it came out, maybe a couple minutes longer, of the oven. And as you can see, it's kind of deflated itself a little bit. And so let's go ahead and take it out of the pan. Now, folks, I usually recommend still using some uh, oven mix for this or pot holders. But there you go. I'd let it still sit probably another hour before you go cutting into it. So, there you have it. Banana bread. Now, this one, as you noticed, I did not put any walnuts in. The recipe did not call for wal walnuts, so if you have a nut allergy, this is probably the recipe you want to use. If you're a vegan or a vegetarian and don't want to use butter, don't forget we substituted oil for the butter. And yes, that is a, a common replacement. If you want the taste of it, you can add a little powdered milk or a little milk if you have some. But don't forget that uh, you'll end up throwing off your... Uh, moisture level, so I would back down on the oil a little bit if you do that. So it might still cause some other issues. But those are things obviously to play with on your own to find a balance of what you like. So again, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell please. The recipe is down in the description as well as a downloadable link. And if you scroll down a little farther, or uh, what have you, we're not monetized. Always accepting donations through PayPal and the app. Bon appetit, bon soir. Good evening.